بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن ولا وبعد نصيب هي ريبورتد ذات أبو هريرة رضي الله عنه هي سيد The people say that Abu Hurairah reports too much from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one to whom account will have to be given. Some people say, why don't the Muhajirun and the Ansar transmit the narrations that Abu Hurairah does? I'll tell you why. My brothers from amongst the Ansar were preoccupied by taking care of their property and farms. And my brothers from amongst the Muhajirun were preoccupied by business at the marketplace. I, on the other hand, was a poor man who kept near Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and was satisfied with what would fill my stomach. I would be present in the company of the Prophet at times when they were absent. I retained in my mind, in my memory, what the Prophet said while they forgot. And one day the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever spreads out his garment till I finish my speech and then gathers it up to his chest will never forget anything I say. Upon hearing that I spread out a woolen garment which was all I was wearing so the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam finished his address and afterwards gathered it to my breast and up to this day I have not forgotten any of the address of his. And if these two verses would not have been revealed in the Qur'an, I would never have transmitted anything to anybody. And the ayats are verily those who conceal the clear evidence and the guidance that we have revealed up till the end of the last verse. This narration of Abu Hurairah anhu is him addressing certain contentions that people had. Abu Hurairah anhu is a prolific narrator. In, fa- in fact, out of the companions, he ranks the highest by a very, very large margin. He narrated over 5,000 ahadiths from the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa And there is no other companion that comes close. So even during the time of the tabi'in, there was this issue that people had, that why is it that Abu Huraira is narrating so many narrations and there are other companions as well who are not narrating as much. So Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu is basically presenting his innocence and he's saying the facts. And the fact is that I was a poor man and I didn't have anything. I didn't have a farm to preoccupy me. I didn't have a business that I needed to attend to. And therefore he spent the majority of his time with the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam, Even though he came near the end of Nubuwa. He came near the end of when the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam passed away. Yet he retained so much from the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So the lesson for us in this theme that, that is ongoing, is that when it comes to knowledge, and when it comes to seeking knowledge, you have to make sacrifices for it. Abu Huraira could have used that time to go and work, to go and earn, etc., but he didn't. In fact, he utilized any time and any spare time that he had to be in the presence of the Messenger وسلم, in his suhbah and in his company. And that is why he was able to narrate so many narrations from the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam, there were other companions as well who spent longer with the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam, yet they did not narrate as much as Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu. And he gives a reason: some were occupied with their farmland, some were occupied with their farms, some were occupied with their businesses, and some others had other issues that they needed to deal with. But his sole focus and his sole aim was that I want to absorb as much from the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that I can. And once he had done so, he memorized it, he retained it, and then he taught it. And then he quotes that the only reason why he is transmitting these narrations is because of the ayah in the Qur'an, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَكْتُمُونَ مَا أَنزَلْنَا مِنَ الْبَيِّنَاتِ وَالْهُدَى until the, until the end. That there is a wa'id in the Qur'an, that there is a threat from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for those who conceal knowledge those who conceal guidance. And he says, that warning, that threat is the only thing that forces me to go and teach. Meaning that I'm not doing this for fame. I'm not doing this so that people will know me. 
I'm doing this because I have an amana, a trust that I've taken from the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and I need to pass that on to the people who are to come. So knowledge requires sacrifice, and we pray that Allah subhanahu wa taala grants us tawfiq, hidayah, and guidance to understand and accept what we have heard today. ربنا أتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار